Well, now at four, a COIN 6 wants to invite you to bring light to the darkness of cancer. So next week, hundreds will gather virtually to honor and support those affected by blood cancers. Our Jeff Gianola joins us now. Jeff, you've been a supporter of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society for a long time. Yeah, like the night with the lanterns right there. Always a beautiful sight. This year, though, it'll be virtual. Chances are you or someone you know, a friend or a family member, has or know someone who has battled a blood cancer. Like the night is a show of support for all those who passed on and those who continue to fight their battles with leukemia and lymphoma. You're looking at pictures of Mabel. At 10 years old, she was diagnosed with leukemia. To be exact, it was B-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. For the next two and a half years, Mabel underwent a rigorous treatment program at OHSU. But not anymore. This is Mabel today. I met Mabel and her father to hear more about what she and her family went through. Her treatment ended in February of this year. How did she get through it? Well, mostly I went along with it. And even though I was afraid of needles, they weren't as much of a big deal anymore to me. But really having a lot of friends there that I could trust helped. Ruben says he remembers when he and his wife knew something was wrong with Mabel. We were visiting some relatives and the lymph nodes had swollen so much that she was in unbearable pain. So we had to call things short and go visit the hospital. Mabel was surrounded by a team of doctors and nurses. They were there for her and her family. Oh, they were wonderful. Uh, the doctors, top notch. I, I couldn't have asked for better people. Chances are you or someone you know has been affected by a blood cancer like leukemia. Light the Night is a way to show your support and remember those who battled and continue to fight against leukemia. Um, I would say that there are probably more people than most people think that, that are going through this and it brings a lot of hope to these people. So I would say that, you know, showing up being there for these people, it, it, it makes them feel cared for. And that's really what they need in this time because the medical, uh, the medical work is there. Uh, there's a lot of hope on that front, but what people really need is support from the community. They say you really don't know what someone is going through or went through until you've walked in their shoes. Mabel has a message for all of us. As a person who's gone through it, it's not comfortable and you need as much comfort as you can get. And those who don't have much and need help, there's got to be something to do. Do something. Be part of Light the Night. Now she's a remarkable young lady. Join us in bringing light to the darkness of cancer. Sign up for the Light the Night virtual event Saturday, October 16th. And of course, we have a link to register at coin.com. Mabel, my goodness gracious, so I, mature. Like a wise I was woman. absolutely blown away where we just sat there that evening at how well spoken she was ah. about everything she's gone through. Yeah, the strength mm -hmm. that she got from going through this yes. and is inspirational. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah good story. Thanks, Jeff.